All right, guys, so there's going to be spoilers ahead in regards to the looks of some of the characters. So if you don't want to be spoiled on the look, you want to skip this video, guys. All right, you guys. So today we are going to get a look at some of the images for the solo movie, some of the toy images that were released online. Very cool stuff. Here we have some of the Galactic Heroes sets here. It looks like there's also going to include a Falcon set, which is really, really cool. I usually don't collect this line, but I may pick up that Falcon. And then here is a very cool shot of Jabba's Palace. I don't know if we're going to get the Jabba Palace in this form, but that is absolutely cool. Uh, you can also see the land speeder that uh, Solo was driving in the trailer is there as well. Here we have our... Lando Calrissian looks like it's the 3.75 figure along with uh, one of the guards there I uh, don't have any information on that and then of course here's a better look at it uh, here however that particular figure right there is not the same figure that is pictured in that particular package so I'm not sure if this is a part of a different line perhaps it is of a different scale but I'm sure we will find out very very soon but it looks really really cool and I cannot wait to get my hands on that Lando awesome looking Lando there and then of course we have Solo here uh, with uh, Amelia's character as well as a trooper uh, very cool looking figures here I believe this is part of the 10 inch uh, collection which I don't particularly collect um, but it gives us an idea of what the figures will look like in the other scales and of course we have Chewie here who is also in the 10 inch scale so lots of cool stuff, guys. Cannot wait to get my hands on some of this stuff, guys. Let me know what your thoughts are. What do you think about some of these images that we saw here? Will you be collecting some of these figures? Put those comments down below and let me know what your thoughts are. All right, guys, so I wanted to discuss some of the criticism of the Solo trailer, specifically Alden Ehrenreich's portrayal of Han Solo. I'm seeing and hearing lots of complaints that he does not look like Solo, he doesn't sound like Solo, and it just does not feel like Solo. First of all, the first thing I want to attack here is how can it feel like Solo in just a minute and a half clip? Uh, he has to be given more time for you to actually absorb his portrayal of, of Solo. So uh, I don't think it's fair to judge him in just a minute and a half clip. Uh, secondly, he is not Harrison Ford. And we cannot expect him to be Harrison Ford or to act like Harrison Ford. He has to make the character his own, not some impression of Harrison Ford Solo. Speaking of impressions... There is also talk of how Disney should have casted YouTuber impressionist Anthony Ingruber, but casting an inexperienced impressionist in a major acting role would have been a big mistake. While I do feel he is a very talented individual, I'm not sure if he would have been right for the role of Solo. I think you need an actor who can make the role their own. I think Alden should be allowed to do just that. It is unfair to judge him on a minute and a half teaser trailer, but that is just my thoughts, guys. Please let me know what your thoughts are. How do you feel about Alden's portrayal of Solo based upon this minute and a half trailer? Do you think it's fair to judge him solely on this trailer, or should we give him an opportunity to fill out the role in the film and judge him based upon that? So guys, put those comments down below. Please like and subscribe, and of course, guys, from the father to the son to hoping that Han Solo is great, may the force be with you always.